Science Math Arrays, and the purpose of this project is to create a hypothesis about where there is the most bacteria. I will be swabbing in the in the small foyer where the water fountain is, right next to the gym, and that is my project. On day three, my bacteria look round shaped, which is toxic, which is one of the three basic shapes of bacteria. The color of my bacteria was a type of yellowish green. On day 7, my bacteria grew a bit more, but it is still round shaped, which is coccyd, and the color changed from a yellow greenish to a lighter green. And next, I will be talking about prokaryotes. Every bacteria is a prokaryotic cell. A prokaryote is any cellular organism that has no nuclear membrane, organelles, or mitochondria, but it does have a cell wall. Now I will be talking about helpful and harmful bacteria. Um, first, I will be talking about helpful bacteria. Some bacteria are even helpful, such as lactobacillus, which makes cheese, yogurt, and buttermilk, and produces vitamins in your intestine. And now I will be talking about harmful bacteria. Zombies spread diseases and illnesses by biting their victims, while humans spread diseases by not washing their hands properly. And it doesn't matter if it is indirect or direct, you still get sick. Bacteria replicates or reproduces by making copies of themselves by dividing in half. They also grow in number, not size. Bacteria can reproduce every 20 minutes, therefore they need lots of energy, so they need to take care of Okay, based on the data I collected, my thoughts about the water fountain filter is that people shouldn't be touching or drinking that water because a lot of bacteria goes in. You guys should probably do that.